This is highly technical. Y'all need to pay attention to what's going on here. Got two bolts. Alright, now that we get that installed, let's put the governor outside rod on the bell crank. That just, uh, let's see, you take this little clip, slide it over your bell crank, slide your rod into your bell crank, and push the clip down over the rod. You got your 10 and 2 position right there. Let's take our fuel line for now we'll install this old fuel line for those of you I've heard through the grapevine through a reliable source YouTube er that some of you are very offended by the use of rusty pliers well that's why I saved this for last I made you watch my whole video before you had to punch out because I'm using rusty pliers. You get over it. <laughs> okay, got that on there. Hopefully that doesn't leak. Now the old uh, choke. Need to bring that down through. Let's see where that's going to want to go here. that out. Open. Closed. That'll work. Go ahead and close that. We got a new filter. New hose. Any of you uh, L8 guys like own one of these and you know a secret part number for a hose out there that fits these things drop it down in the comment section save the rest of the guys sixty dollars on a damn piece of hose be much appreciated Go ahead and throw the filter in. This is a rotary brand 19 1386. Replaces the Kohler 235116. Comes with a paper filter and a pre filter. Lube it, squeeze out the oil, re-lube it every 25 hours. Okay, we got our pre-filter lubed up. We're going to slide that on the new filter. What's it about doing here? That's it. Let's put a little Loctite 592 on these threads. Here's a disappointing thing. Why can't we make a muffler in the United States? That's got to go. Taiwan. Freaking kidding me. Come on, guys. The air filter is made in the U.S., but the out filter is made in another country. <laughs>
Well, the truck made it back just in time for me to borrow a little juice out of the battery. We got our extension, our extension cord. <laughs> I'm tired. Got our jumper cables hooked up, going to the frame and over by the starter. Uh, we've been running a little bit. I got paint burning off, pipe dope burning off. Man, I got oil burning off. I got all kind of stuff smoking over here. Uh, we had the same uh, high revving problem that we had before, but we fixed it. And it was all right here in the bell crank. Um, I don't know what to tell you as far as initial settings go. I think what I told you before is okay for initial settings. Um, but uh, here's what we got right now, okay? Where the governor sits right now, that bell crank is just about at 1130, okay? When you push the governor as far forward as it'll go, it's about 10 o'clock. And when you pull it back as far as it'll go, it's sitting at about 12 o'clock on this machine. So we've only got a travel of about 10 to 12 on this machine. I don't know, the, the 10 to 2 thing revs this engine so high that it's going to explode. So uh, I'm satisfied with it just, you know, running good. I need to um, let it run some more, you know, tomorrow, uh, warm up the engine real good and uh, change this oil because it's been a while since the oil's been changed. It's, it's fresh, I mean, it's good stuff. It ain't got many hours on it. But uh, I'll crank it up for you real quick. something else going with it we'll go from there but uh hey thanks for watching